hey my friend all right so you want to have a webinar you've actually been planning to have a webinar for so long and you want to host a webinar but you're like okay so how do I get the webinar ready and I mean what do I what do I talk about first and how do I organize my thoughts how do I put it together in a way that is going to get me results right what are the results you're looking for and how do you figure out what the steps are we're going to talk about that I actually have done lots of webinars in the past I'm actually doing one this well this Tuesday and if you're interested in learning about it of course uh, I would love to have you on there we're going to talk about syndication how to create uh, tons of pieces 20 50 100 pieces of assets that automatically are using uh, one piece of content and we're going to show you how to do that I'm going to show you how to do that anyways that's Tuesday but so and I need to prepare my webinar so I'm actually going to do it live with you I'm going to kind of show you how I do it and talk to you about why I do this why I do that and where I got the information from so that you can do it too so you can do the right webinar and by the way if you're listening to the audio of this please go to cis251.jsgagnon.com cis251.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video or the full blog post on this topic how to get your webinar organized in a way that you get results so let's let's we're going to dive into this but first that we're going to dive in no what did I say there we're going to dive into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so what do I mean by results so first let's let's qualify that or or quantify or describe that when I say results I mean results for whatever well I guess it's more up to you right what do you mean by results uh, let, yeah let's clarify that so results could be you getting sales it could be you getting people signed up but it could also be which I would recommend getting results for your students for the people that are on the webinar that is really what your goal should be if your goal is to get sales and all that that isn't going to get you the results because you know they say when you chase after money you chase after things you don't get it you gotta give 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 before you get and by giving by getting your audience to get results you're automatically getting results don't even worry about yourself worry about your audience worry about them what results do you want them to get that's the most important thing because if what you're offering doesn't get anybody results well they're not gonna want it which means that you're not gonna get any results right so you got to focus on their results what are the results that you want them to get all right so we're going to talk about what I'm doing with my webinar in a minute so that's the first thing you gotta you gotta know what are the results so write that down if you're not sure just brainstorm it think about it what are the results you want your people to get are you do you want them to get generate some income do you want them to get some sales do you want them to to you know uh, understand how to set up their their social media profiles do you want them to understand how to create uh, uh, in my case it's I want my audience to be able to create assets so that they can be like Gary V so they can do omnipresence in minutes a day right <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for is <coughs> that's what I want for my audience right omnipresence I want them to be able to be omnipresent to be everywhere without having tons of money spent on teams or spending all their day creating the assets for the different platforms and I want it to be so that it's usable by anybody right so I want that that's what I want for you if you're if you're on my if you're on my webinar on Tuesday um you will get that that's what you're going to get out of my webinar right is how to be omnipresent for almost no cost with very little time so how's that even possible right so you might be thinking how do you how is that possible I mean it takes me you know at least 15 minutes half an hour to create a piece of asset 
so how is it possible that I can create for you know 50 60 platforms all in a few minutes right so we're gonna that's what my you know outcome for my webinar is right so you got to figure out what is the outcome for your webinar then the rest of the webinar is basically following a formula right so the formula just like any other um any other um content creation right is introduction the content then the conclusion right in the case of the webinar then you add an offer right you got to have an offer because the, what's the point right but everybody expects you to have some sort of offer but you got to make sure that the offer is worth it that it's 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 something that the the audience that you're attracting is going to be interested in and so how do you do that there's copy there's all these different things that you got to do but today we're not talking about that we're just talking about the webinar itself so let me just go in to the um to share my screen here and just kind of show you the I you know you can use all sorts of different uh, tools so the other thing by the way you don't actually have to create you know a slide deck or anything like that to do your webinar you just need to know what you're going to talk about and you can put that on paper you can put that in 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 a word document and even a notepad if you want I like to use a presentation because it kind of clarifies my mind and as I go through the webinar I can go to one slide the next slide that kind of thing and that's why I use slides um, I'm not saying you have to but that's kind of how I do it so let's just show you my screen here I'm going to share the screen and this is just um open office I mean you can use PowerPoint obviously you can use I mean I don't know there's a bunch of tools obviously you can use Google slides online as well right but what is it that you need to do so first let's just create the slides right I'm going to do a new slide oh actually uh, where yeah, new slide right and this one is uh where is that slide layout oh it's over here uh so what I want in this one is going to be oh actually the first one is the title oh it is the title let's do that okay so the first one is just a blank the next one is this I'm just trying to see what do I have there's the title there you go okay so I'm just gonna say well it doesn't really matter right now but let's just let's just say you know um uh how to be um, omnipresent omnipresent that's just my title right I don't I don't know if that's going to be the title I'm kind of just doing it kind of showing you how to be omnipresent without spending hours whoops without spending hours or thousands right so I mean the thing is that being in my case being omnipresent is all about having content everywhere on all the social media platforms that you can and but the thing is that that takes time right I mean Gary V talks about being up omnipresent whoops thousands be Gary V talks about being omnipresent but the thing is that it takes time to create all those pieces of asset uh, to to post everywhere right you got to create an image you got to create a text for it you got to make sure that the text isn't too long for the different platforms some of them have less text than others you got to create a video for one you got to create a shorter video for the other you got to create a longer video for the other you know all these things are all different right so how do you do that and do it regularly without going crazy right so the, anyways that's whatever that doesn't matter that's just I'm just saying that's my topic but then you know, I need to have introduction right introduction okay so let's let's just do that like that we're just going to go like this we're going to say new slide right here uh then we're going to say the content right and then we're going to say uh insert into two new slide then we're going to say uh conclusion right whoops conclusion and then we're going to do a uh, uh the offer right all right so the offer so let's not let's let's go backwards right so what is it that you're trying to get like I said what is the result that you're getting you're wanting them to have right okay so you can create assets for your um presence omni omnipresence in minutes uh, minutes a day 
right so that's in my case that's what I'm offering them right the ability to create assets for their omnipresence in minutes a day so um you could go learn all about this and figure out how to do it uh, so again I'm not really sure I'm kind of doing this I'm I'm kind of doing this just you know um on the fly here just kind of thinking it through but I do have notes I do have notes right here I have notes that I took on the weekend right here I don't know if you can see so these are some of my notes that I took right and I got another, other notes right here which is basically the the middle of it and we're going to kind of go into that I'm, I'm actually going to have to go back to the offer here but the idea is that you want to make sure that the offer is something that they're going to be um on your own that they're going to be able to learn from right that they, that it's going to give them something that they that they value right um uh, with this tool you can do it every day in minutes okay so anyways that's that's kind of what the offer is for me well let's just go back okay is so a conclusion that that might have been the conclusion I'm, I'm yeah thinking it through anyways I, like I said I just want to kind of lay it out for you the kind of the structure so in the introduction you want to talk about yourself okay let me just look at my notes here so you want to talk about what it's about right so let's what is this webinar about you want to have so you could have just one slide like this and kind of go through it or you could create one slide per topic so what is this webinar about why whoops why why are you here right why are you here right so I mean in other words you're going to talk to them about why they're here why you ex why you think they're here so and the idea with the introduction is you want to be able to um to make them want to stay right so I mean if they're not if they're not really there because of what you explain here they're going to leave right and you you if you didn't do a good job of of inviting them and preparing them because you know a webinar is not just about this right the webinar is you got your your post you're going to do to invite people to to entice them to come you got your landing page your registration page that has to be curiosity driven so that they don't really know what it's about but that at the same time they kind of know what they're why they're there but you kind of repeat that in here and make sure that it's clear right why are you here so why listen to me right so why should they be listening to you right why should they be listening to you on your webinar what is it that you know that they don't know and what's your background what's your experience that relates to what you're going to teach right why listen to me uh and then you're going to have your promise right my promise to you so my promise to you is basically you're going to have uh you're going to tell them that you what they're going to get out of this and what you promise them that they're going to learn and it's it can be like a you know almost like a a guarantee if you want or it's really up to you I I follow um a course I took a while back uh the webinar uh what was it called I'd have to look it up but if you're interested in finding out just go ahead and message me I'll find it for you but it's it was a it was basically all about a, a webinar the the best way to do a webinar and it talked about the promise it talked about you know all these things right and then of course you need to have a the the hook right you need to have a hook so in your introduction you got to say something like you really want to stick around because at the end I have an amazing bonus for you you're gonna be really happy you stuck around so make sure you stick till the end because that's when we're going to reveal it I'm not letting anybody know and, until the end what that is all right so make sure you listen in. so that's the hook so uh you you can't really tell them what it is because they're they're they might decide not to stay if they know what it is depending on what depending on if there's if they're interested in that right but that's the introduction all right so the introduction is basically these pieces whoops let's just uh, get that out of there this one okay so that's the introduction in the introduction you got to make sure you cover that right what's the webinar about what are you why are you here in other words why are they there why are they here then you got to tell them why they need to listen to you now the other thing is in the in the uh, I guess there should be a who am I right um 
who so who am I right so who am I uh maybe the that should actually be before I think that actually I'll put that here I would actually talk about who am I whoops what's going on oh I think my uh I think my um this is gonna die here did I yeah this is gonna die it's, something's going on with my computer here let's just go back into here out into my webinar save it in here we're gonna call it presentation to our work day well I don't need to put the I don't need to put presentation that's what it is to our work day so did that there's something I think it's well I guess it's saved I don't know what's going on here oh that's why okay so there after the hook then I put who am I all right so I'm just going to save that again okay so I mean what's the webinar about why are you here why listen to me my promise to you the hook and who am I right so those are the things you want to cover in the introduction and that should be 10 minutes maybe 15 max because and that's depending on the length of your webinar but typically you know an hour an hour and a half is how long a webinar should be you could have it longer it really depends on your on your on what you're trying to show um okay so in the content in the content um well maybe we should, should we talk about the conclusion and yeah like I said this is kind of the conclusion um that would be the conclusion let's just take this and put that in the conclusion right and that's going to be the conclusion and then this is the offer the offer really isn't that so what's the offer right what is it so here's the thing in the offer uh you want to be talking giving them something that is worth like 10 times what they're they'd be paying for it right so for me uh I'm going to be offering and I don't I'm I don't I'm not going to go into the details of it because you know maybe you're list you're watching this and you're going to attend the webinar so I don't want to you know give you uh what the offer is but you know you could do things like um so it could um include include you in the offer right if you want if you're doing personal branding you want to be including you so it could be like you know um like phone call um um uh, zoom session um, in-person meeting right depending on you know of course in COVID days no in-person meeting but um you know this <laughs> it's not going to be forever so you know things like that right include you in the offer the other thing is you want to include um upgrades right include upgrades include upgrades for for no additional cost right so things like that include an upgrade right include include um done for you options right so I mean you can do things like I don't know say for example you're offering them some some coaching on social media right well you could include uh something like they send you an image and then you can create uh quoted image for them right or you can they send you you know like for example me I did something in the past where I was doing uh, images with my brand on it with my with some text on it and I was doing that with a script I would I would just you know have a hundred images and I would just put the same the same logo on all of them and it was a pretty simple process for me because I just ran a script that did it all for me right so I could offer that I could say hey send me a hundred images or I'll just take 100 images from the internet uh, open source images right and I'll put your name and your logo on those images and send that back to you right so you could have something like that where you can offer that kind of thing if you are able to do it really quickly then you can offer them that kind of thing right uh if you're into network marketing or maybe maybe you're in weight loss right offer them you know offer them uh include a check checklist to help them with results right so if they for example if you're trying to help them with weight loss well you can have a checklist that says <clears throat> you know um things to, to to do every single day to improve your chances of weight loss right and you can have a checklist what should you be doing right getting up at a certain time 
um exercising eating a certain food um not eating more than x you know you're drinking a certain amount of water and just a checklist so that way when you're looking through every single day you would look at that list you know the your your ideal client there would look at that list and they would be able to easily know whether they're on the right track or not right that kind of thing so so what is it that your offer is going to be now the other thing is um make it a value ladder so what does that mean what's a value ladder a value ladder is where you offer them something at a low cost and then you have an upsell that they can go to if they want more right so for example you could have and one of the things that Russell Brunson I don't know if you know Russell Brunson but he talks about having um something that they can do it themselves something where you um help them in a in a kind of a group setting and then something where you do it for do it oh, sorry so do it themselves do it with them and then do it for them right so those three kind of levels so the first level where they do it themselves they would have like in the case of Russell Brunson he's got a book right but I mean you could have um some tools you can have some some checklists you can have some things like that where they just download it all and they do it on their own right they just follow your instructions and do it on their own it could be a course could be anything that allows them to do it themselves right the second level where you might charge you know a couple hundred bucks or 500 whatever it is that you decide that's worth um where you would do it with them so in so for example a great example of that is a Facebook group but you're not doing it one-on-one -on -one, you're doing it with a group so you're you're basically going to be creating content say every day for example where you would show them different parts of it where you show them how to do this how to do that and then you would um they would they would be able to do it better because they would get the support from others they would be able to ask questions they'd be able to interact with others they'd be able to ask you questions all in a group setting so you might have a group of 100 or a group even just of 10 people right if you're if you're if you're starting out you don't need that many because you can't help that many in the beginning right <clears throat> so that's the number two number three is do it for them where they don't even do anything you just they just send you whatever they 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 have and you do whatever it is that that they need done right so I mean that doesn't apply to everything but say for example creating content for social media they could send you pictures of them picture of their family pictures of their product pictures of things they're doing and then you just put together a cover photo for their Facebook you, their profile picture you put you create text for their their offers for their funnels for things like that and you get it all done for them right so that's that's what the value ladder is all right so let's go into the content now one of the oh my god one of the things that I struggled with for so long is in the content is uh, so you know <clears throat> you don't want to so I'm just going to put that here do not teach it all you do not want to teach everybody how to do everything that's the biggest problem the biggest the biggest mistake that we do as newbies is to try to teach everything and you know what we do that because when we're looking at other leaders we get the feeling that they're teaching things but th they really aren't if you really pay a lot more attention you're going to see that they're not teaching everything they're showing the basics and then they're asking for your money to buy their course or to buy their mastermind or whatever it is to do the rest right so you got to make sure you got to figure out a way so what is it that you how can you show them but without teaching them all of it right just show what is what part of your your offer that you can talk about without showing them how to do it all so that they don't need to buy your thing right if they if you show them everything they're not going to need to buy your thing right they're not going to need to get it so you gotta do that so now um so one of the things that really helps is the story framework so use the story framework right the story framework what is that the story framework is um how was it before right what happened to change it right 
and how is it now right so I mean that's the basics of any story that you want to teach so you want to talk about how would it, was it before like in my case you know I was creating content all the time I was creating a piece of content on one platform and then I was sharing that on a few different platforms just by sh sharing the link and you know I was I was I was struggling to do it regularly and I wasn't doing it all the time and I was it was really time consuming and I went when I wanted to start creating content for other platforms I started creating other content I started doing more work to create more content to share to more platforms so you know might have taken me you know an hour a day to post on Facebook and, and engage and create and 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 create the actual recording and then ex extract it and do the thumbnail and do all these different things and then when I wanted to search to Instagram I created this other image and I created this other content and I started to and they would take me another you know 15 20 minutes to share on on, on Twitter uh, and then on LinkedIn and then if I wanted to do it more I would end up spending hours just creating the assets for the platform and that was just totally draining and I wasn't even getting the results because I was spending all my time just creating the content creating the assets right I wasn't even engaging I wasn't even I didn't have time because I was doing it too many platforms right so what happened to change it well I I found the Gary V model through uh through just just noticing it I started seeing people talk about the Gary V model right where you basically take one piece of content and create a whole bunch of assets from it and then you just use those assets to share across the platforms but it still wasn't that easy because I still had to think okay what do I do here what do I do there how do I do that and make sure I don't forget things and but that's still how it started that I got I got that that started and so because I'm a programmer I automated a whole bunch of stuff so it made it easier and I got to a point where I was able to you know now I'm able to create content every single day I'd, and and share it everywhere all in, in minutes right it takes takes the time to create the content but then after that I can share it everywhere and I share it natively it's not like I create a YouTube post and then share the link everywhere because that doesn't work right so that's kind of how it is so that's kind of what you want to do you want to talk about how it was <laughs> what happened to change it and how is it now right so that's that's the basics of your content now like I said you don't want to teach it you don't want to teach what the content is you don't you don't want to explain to people how they get everything done you can show them some of the some of the stuff you're doing but that's you know that's basically what it is right so what else what else do we want to do here uh the other thing is let's see do I have I have notes right here I have notes that basically I uh so what's it like now you know how can I do that in in one to two hours I'm posting over 20 platforms I learned from leaders like Gary V um yeah so that's that's basically that's it that's the content you want to show that right and then in my conclusion I'm actually going to go and I'm actually going to talk about the, what I'm doing right I'm going to show the platform and show things like that and how it's possible to do what I'm talking about how that that is done right and um yeah so that's that's the basics right I mean the basics of your webinar is you want to have uh your introduction the introduction like I said important to talk about what's the webinar about why are you here why listen to me my promise to you so my promise to you for example would be something like I promise that by the end of the webinar you're going to know how to create all the assets for all the platforms in just a few minutes and you're going to be able to do that yourself I promise you're going to know how to do that and how and and where you go and how to do that right so why listen to me well you know I've been creating content for five years now pretty much daily everywhere I've been learning all the different platforms and I'm a programmer I, I automate things so I know how to make things happen more easily by creating processes and scripts that create things for you right <clears throat> so I mean you can certainly use tools and you can certainly do the work yourself by extracting things by creation of the assets when I talk about assets I'm talking about you know audio uh, images screenshots uh, images with text on top of them images with your logo those kinds of things so that's what I'm talking about so the the hook is I'm going to 
show you exactly where you can do this and I'm going to give you a super amazing bonus just for attending this webinar it's going to be totally worth your worth it then you talk about who you are right who am I well you know I've started online I started in entrepreneurship when I my first few jobs I was actually selling chocolate bars from my desk to my co-workers I remember it was kind of funny because I would pay for I don't know 25 cents back in the day right I would buy a box it was about 25 cents each and I would sell them for a dollar and I remember some of the guys were like well what that's crazy why would you you know I can go to the machine over there it's 35 cents or whatever right I say well I don't it doesn't matter to me go ahead go to the machine if you want but right now if you want it right now it's in my desk it's a dollar <laughs> right so that's kind of how I was doing it obviously that you know my boss or my and they didn't really want me to do that but at the same time it was like well whatever who cares right but that's kind of how I started in my entrepreneurial journey anyways that's so that's basically that's it that's what you got to do to create your webinar you got to have a framework you got to understand the introduction the content the conclusion and then you got to have an offer and by doing that you're going to have a great webinar and I'd love to hear from you if you try this out and you put it together and then you have a webinar invite me I'd love to be there maybe if I can if it works out in the schedule but either way I would love to hear about your results and it makes me so happy to know that you're getting results from the things I teach all right so we'll hopefully you have a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time